Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to talk about a very important topic that a lot of people are not very aware of. So so many people that embark on their weight loss journey time and time again find that they are not getting the desired weight loss benefits that they're looking to gain. Maybe someone else has from the things that they're actually trying to do to lose weight. And I wanted to talk about one of the number one reasons that I see time and time again that so many people are not able to go in the direction of getting the most optimal weight loss benefits from whatever they're looking to do due to xenoestrogens. And if you don't know what xenoestrogens are, these are a chemical form of estrogen. And people are getting such an abundance of xenoestrogens on a regular basis from so many different sources. And what happens is when you're consuming them, it's making estrogen levels go up and it makes testosterone levels drop. And low testosterone is not just an issue for men. It's also an issue for so many females as well. And you want optimal testosterone production within males and females so you can have the best health possible within your mind and body holistically. So you can also alongside that to get the greatest weight loss benefits because when you have excess estrogen in your body your body holds on to more water weight and it reduces your muscle mass and increases your fat mass so you want to be making sure that you are reducing your exposure as much as you possibly can from xenoestrogens and i'm going to list off all of the different top sources of xenoestrogens in this video and i'll also talk about this subject in more detail in the video and also some solutions to remove excess estrogen damaging metabolites not the beneficial estrogen that your body produces naturally and so you can actually go in the direction of getting the greatest weight loss benefits from whatever you're trying to do alongside the things that I'm going to mention in this video. And also the things that I'm going to be mentioning to get rid of excess estrogen, they also will give you estrogen blocking benefits as well. And these are all through very effective scientifically proven methods. So now onto the list of sources of xenoestrogens that are the top ones that most people are getting on a regular basis. So if you're consuming tap water, tap water is very well known to contain an abundance of xenoestrogens. You could do your research up online into this if you want to and everything else that I'm gonna mention. Commercially farmed meat and dairy products are absolutely full and abundance of xenoestrogens and most people are consuming these on a regular basis. So obviously with the tap water, you just avoid tap water. What you want instead is distilled water. It's one of the only purest source of water in the world that you can get that has nothing toxic in it whatsoever. And you can make it in the comfort of your own home. I'll put some links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers for the top mega home water distillers that you can make distilled water in the comfort of your own home. And obviously for the second thing, that I've just mentioned. Commercially raised meat and dairy products is just do not eat them whatsoever. You can even switch to a plant-based diet so you can reduce your exposure of them. Or what you want to do is if you're going to be consuming those, make sure you're getting it from an organic source where they're not feeding them GMO foods, the animals are not vaccinated or given any antibiotics or synthetic hormones or pharmaceuticals and that are pasture raised or grass fed. The third one is plastic sources that give you a xenoestrogen. So plastic water bottles, microwave meals that are in plastic containers, or any other sort of liquid source or food source that is in a plastic container. And you will get even way, way more when you have something that is heated up in a plastic container, which a lot of coffee shops are actually giving you plastic containers whether it looks like it's paper or not a lot of time it isn't and microwave meals obviously they're heated up to very high temperatures so they are really really bad so try and reduce your intake of liquids or foods in plastic containers and put your liquids in glass containers instead and just be very very mindful around this and something i like to add to that is also most shampoos conditioners body wash products and just other wash products are normally in plastic containers. So then that's going into the products that you're buying. And then when you're using it on your skin or your hair or your body, then you are absorbing it. And most of these products also contain parabens, which is a very well-known source of xenoestrogens. So you want to be avoiding any 
bathroom products or wash products that contain parabens. And there's also a lot of other chemicals that are in these products which are a source of xenoestrogens. So you want to be making sure that you're getting a totally natural, organic form of body wash, shampoo, and conditioner and other products that come under these ones that I've just mentioned that you would use in your bathroom or on your body. And what I do is I put some links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers for some of the most highest quality natural organic body wash that can also be used as a shampoo as well. So if that interests you, then let me know down below. And if you'd like me to recommend any other different wash products or even makeup products that are natural and organic and that contain none of these sources of xenoestrogens in there, let me know down below and I'll give you some other recommendations down below in the comment section of this video. And next up, which so many people get in abundance this every single day is artificial food additives. So what you wanna do is try and limit your intake of a processed pack Packaged factory made foods as much as you possibly can. I'm not saying avoid them completely, but just be very mindful around this and do your best to limit your intake of foods that contain these artificial food additives. Now the next one, which you're not gonna be able to avoid them completely is insecticides and pesticides. So with this one, what you wanna do is try and buy as much organic or biodynamic food as you possibly can because for obvious reasons, if you do some research into this, they have a way less pesticides and insecticides sprayed on them. And what I wanna say is, they don't necessarily have none sprayed on them whatsoever, but they're gonna be better than commercially grown foods that you are gonna be buying and consuming. So just do the best that you can do with this. And I'm gonna quickly list off some other things. I'm not gonna go into too much detail into them because it's just gonna go on and on and on. So perfume, also feminine hygiene, products that are bleach, dry cleaning, chemicals, detergents, linings of tin cans, tetra packs, and the list just goes on and on and on. So as you can see, there's so many different sources and you're just not gonna be able to avoid all of them. You can do your best to limit your exposure to them as much as you possibly can, but you wanna be doing various things on a consistent basis to block excess estrogen from building up in your body and getting rid of any damaging estrogen metabolites within the body that are coming from xenoestrogen sources. So now I'm gonna go on to two cheap, safe, natural, and scientifically proven methods to actually block estrogen and get rid of excess estrogen within the body. So the first one is using a specific supplement known as zinc. And zinc is very well known, if you do your research up online in this, to boost testosterone within the body and actually get rid of excess estrogen. And with this one, both females and males want to be taking this, but with females, you wanna be taking less of a zinc dose on a regular basis in comparison to a male. For males, I would recommend 30 milligrams a day and females 15 milligrams a day. And make sure when you are taking this supplement that you do take it with food, otherwise it can make you feel quite nauseous and you'd want to be taking this at least once every single a day and what i would do is i'll put two different zinc supplements down below one for females that is 15 milligram doses of zinc per capsule and for males 30 milligrams and there'll be uk us and worldwide suppliers down below for the most highest quality zinc supplement that you can buy in the world because what i want to tell you now is most of the zinc supplements or almost all supplements in general contain a lot of toxic substances added to it and they're not normally putting in the most bioavailable form of the nutrient which means if it's not the most bioavailable it's not the most highly absorbed form of zinc so that's when you will not get the full benefits from it so you want to be make sure you're taking the most bioavailable form of zinc that has nothing toxic added to it the second one is what is called i 3C, also known as indenol 3 carbonyl which is a naturally occurring substance found in mainly cruciferous vegetables. But you can't get enough through eating those types of food, even if you eat kilograms and kilograms of it every single day to get the estrogen blocking benefits and for it to remove an excess of an abundance of estrogen within your body. So with this one, you also would want to be taking a supplement. And this one can be taken with or without food any time within the day is absolutely fine. And for most people, one to two capsules 
is adequate amounts for them to get to the greatest benefits from this supplement. So if you want to take two within a day, which I was taking two for quite some time, and then sometimes I will take one and I switch between them just because I feel drawn to take different amounts at different times, that yeah, if you're taking two, take one in the morning and one later in the day, and like I said, with or without food. So that's it for all the information around that. And I just want to mention one last thing. If you're someone that wants to get the greatest weight loss benefits with something that costs no money whatsoever, and you could do anywhere in the world, that is daily intermittent fasting. It is something that I found to be one of the best things ever for giving people the greatest weight loss benefits in the shortest period of time. And I have made a video called Intermittent Fasting for Serious Weight Loss, the Complete guide and if you haven't seen that video i put a link for it up above and i highly recommend that you do go and check it out so you can learn all the information on how to do daily intermittent fasting to get the greatest weight loss benefits from it in the shortest period of time and how to do it in the most safe and effective way for you short term and long term so you can get the greatest weight loss benefits from it and all these other amazing benefits such as it increasing testosterone production within the body lowering insulin improving insulin sensitivity boosting human growth hormone production glucagon production which is a hormone that actually puts your body into a state of burning its own body fat as fuel and a whole host of other amazing benefits as well and this is something that I do on an everyday basis because it just helps me sustain long term a very low body fat percentage as you can see that I have here and it just gives me the best health and cognitive function holistically so that's the end of the video if you have any questions leave them down below and I get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down I don't mind and please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about what I shared with you today in relation to estrogen that may be actually having a negative effect on someone getting the body that they desire because they're not actually able to burn all of the fat off their body with whatever they're trying to do and how they can go in the direction of actually resolving this issue once and for all so they can get the greatest weight loss benefits from whatever they're trying to do to actually get rid of excess body fat. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. The type of videos you can expect to get from me are informational videos on intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics, eating a plant-based diet, weight loss, calisthenics, workout and progression videos and all other different types of videos to actually share with you the right information that you can learn from these videos to go in the direction to achieve the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels that you desire. So if this type of video sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.